All right, here we are. Campsite, day one. Well, I suppose you call it day one. We did uh, stay at Heath's place last night. So we're on the, we're, we changed the plan. We, uh, we were to fish the Man River. Just taking my shoes off here. Ah, they're full of rocks from the sand down at the, uh, down at the creek. Um, we were staying, or well, going to f fish the Man River, which is supposed to be one of the best bass and cod rivers in the country, but uh, it rained. And the river has since got to a point where it was running pretty quick and not real safe and probably not good for fishing either. So anyway, here's our site. This is Dave. He's our guide. This is his fucking setup here. It's pretty bloody good. Look at that. It's a hammock. Anyway, Phil's car. This is Phil's love shack here. Heath's is over there. Mine's there. So this is a campground. One of the farmers sort of converted it into a campground, which is pretty cool. Um, his neighbours aren't real happy, apparently, because they you share a road. And he gave us the bird on the way in. But anyway, such is life. So anyway, we've, uh, as you can see, we've lit the fire. Uh, we're having burgers tonight, I think. And uh, in the morning, we're in that creek there, whatever it's called. And we're basically paddling all the way back to Tabulum. So we did a bit of car shifting. So uh, Dave, the guide, his car is back there. And uh, we'll leave the other cars here. Paddle down to Tabulum, uh, which is going to take us two days. Uh, we've already been for a fish. My canoe's over here. I didn't catch anything. But uh, it was sort of more just a bit of a get it out of our system. And um, so there's the, the canoes down there. So uh, that's uh, pretty exciting. It's not as wobbly as I thought for a bloke as my size and, un and as uncoordinated as I am. It was actually pretty good. So we've got some rapids to shoot tomorrow. Not as many as we would have had in the other river, but uh, that'll be pretty exciting. Um, we can either walk the canoes down or we can have a crack. He said, you know, we just unload all our stuff uh, into his boat when he's the canoe. Now, if we, if we tip it over, so be it. We float down. So we've uh, the tents and is provided. Oh, you won't open it up now, but there's a there's an air mattress in there that um, should be nice and comfy. We each get a barrel like this. You can see them there to put our possessions in so you sort of pack light just take what we need um some dinner and stuff for later water we forgot water what we didn't forget though in this esky over here yeah, this is heat scar so i'm gonna have a little drink what's this thing Mango, mango cocktail, mango meal. I mean, one of those. So, forgive my camera work. Maybe go over the fire. So, anyway, I'm not going to burn up too much battery and uh, have no memory card here because it's just a campsite, really. But it's pretty special. It was a bit windy before, but that's all the, the gore gone away. So, anyway, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this. And uh, I'm not sure if there's enemy mozzies come around. I haven't seen any yet, thankfully. But it's a pretty cool night, which is good this time of year. It could be hot as buggery up here. But anyway, I'm going to end the video now. And uh, pick it up tomorrow morning when we're on the water. Hey. What? You've got substantially less gunnel. <laughs> so compared to Phil. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's nothing to him. This is our first, we just started on the first day of our paddle trip, Saturday. And it's uh, pretty bloody good. 
Heath caught a fish last night, apparently. Well, that's what he reckons. Well, it's looking a bit like that, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. I did dog it last night. Went to bed. These blokes went fishing. Catch a fish, Heath, while you're on video. Under pressure. You are under so much pressure, man. Nothing, no fish here. All right, we'll pick up the videoing later on. Here we have the boys. We just come down our first set of rapids and they're very shallow. So as you can see by Heath over there, you've got to walk the uh, canoe down. Phil's just shooting under some trees here. All very exciting. Heath's gonna go guaranteed ass over fucking head. Please fall in. What's the odds of Heath falling in, Phil? About a thousand, uh, well. <laughs> thousand to one against, on. Yeah, yeah. thousand percent would be good. <laughs> that's why I'm videoing, mate, because that's what mates are for. Here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. Hang on, I'm just gonna align myself properly. Double video here, two angles. You're potentially going to get of Heath falling in the creek. Here he goes. Look at the size of it. It's like a whale. It's like an elephant seal trying to get in a canoe. <laughs> He's taking the sensible option of going under the tree where he can grab onto something. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's in. But he's standing up. Oh, he's got his ass down. He's done pretty well, the big fella. Are you having fun, Phil? It's fucking good, isn't it? A few fish would be nice. But you know what? <laughs> we'll just make do. Oh, Phil's hung up here. He is hung up. Can he get it out? <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, you just saw on video the most magnificent piece of fishing. Master class. The master. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and Dave's up there, he's just taking a shit. <laughs> so he advised us all to get, a, get ahead and get a fair way downstream. Yeah, yeah, get well ahead. Well, I don't reckon it would have been good. He's a, he's a top guide. He yeah. goes ahead and catches all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Heath, I just want you to know that you've let everybody down watching this video on YouTube because you didn't fall in. It would have been an attractive entry, though. <laughs> it would have been. There wouldn't have been much splash. <laughs> How fucking good is this place? It is beautiful. Oh, and I switched the video off, and we're going to keep fishing. <laughs> oh, he's going into the side! <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you done good, mate? Well, we don't have hat cam here, so I've got to paddle up to capture Heath, because this is what everyone wants to see. I'm gonna get in position. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> oh, poor old Heath has a bit of a disadvantage here. I'm gonna run into you, mate. Just gotta. If you can hold on to me, I can get this video 
Mate, we're in prime videoing position here. Oh, he's standing up. Fuck that. Possibly, possibly go wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. A bit nervous. In 4K, we're going to get this. He's a bit nervous. <laughs> he is. But he's only got about, what, a, a two inches of gunnel? <laughs> this could be a beaver dam if it goes wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Come on, Here big fella. Here he goes. Come on, big man. Oh, readjusting. Is he sitting or kneeling? Readjusting at the last oh. minute. <laughs> he's committed now. He's in. He's in. He's, he's in. He's in the wrong side. That's what he. <laughs> Oh yes! Go, mate! Go! <laughs> oh, he, he, he collected the bottom there with the pin. <laughs> oh, you've done so well. <laughs> I've got a low centre of gravity. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I thought, I thought for certain he was going to come a cropper then. It is beautiful here. There is no doubt about that. I've got to paddle and film at the same time. It's not that easy. I need a head thing. I think I've got one in the bag, but I couldn't be bothered getting it out. When we stop for lunch, I think that's what I'll do. In the meantime, we just float down this river, which is spectacular. So I can catch a fish. I've got the uh, GoPro fucking thing in my mouth. It's not much fun. I wouldn't be a good poofter. The problem we got here is that green weed, which you hopefully you can see on the hook, on the spinner there, it's bloody pain in the ass. But anyway, let's see if I can get one in nice and close there. That's better.
Here's the rest of the boys. Oh, hey, he's, he's dragging the chain. <laughs> Alright, enough video. Here you come, Seath. Come on, Phil. You're on film, mate. He's got a he's got a bird's nest. <laughs> Just letting it sink. These bait casters are pricks of things. I fucking hate them because they overrun. So the spool spins when you throw them out. And if you don't put your finger on it and stop it, the lure lands and then the spool keeps spinning and you end up with what's known as a bird's nest. And if you see one, you'll know why it's called that. He's got slime on his lure and he's banging it on the ground. Here he goes, look at that. Nice cast, big boy. All right, that's enough videoing. Alright. Once again, trying to paddle and film at the same time. Little riffle here. You can see the rocks in the water there. It is beautiful. It's very shallow, as you can tell. I'm going to start bumping any second now. Like that. And that. And I've stopped. But I reckon if I use my paddle in as a pole. I have to put the camera down. If I could be bothered editing, I'll chop that bit out. It is beautiful in here. No fucking fish. But nonetheless, you can't complain. It's Phil having a flick. He's in the background there. He's struggling a bit, the poor boy. Because he, uh, he bottoms out a lot more. And he, uh, now that one that I just was on there, and he wouldn't have got through, would have had to get out of the boat. No one has caught a fish yet, which is rather depressing. Well, I don't think it's really depressing. Look where we are. Anyway. <laughs> Here we have Heath coming down the rapids. <laughs> you can hear him scraping. Now he's going to take the corner. You can do it! 
Jiggle. You're going to get there. You're going to do it. <laughs> well done, mate. All oh, right, now we wait for Phil. He's miles away. What's Phil doing? I'll stop the video while... Here he comes. Filthy Phil. He's getting into the kneel position. It's all expert canoers do. Behind the reeds. Can't feel. Good work, Phil. Expert fucking canoeing, mate. Thank you, mate. I got caught by the Indians of uh, North America. You did. with this oar. <clears throat> oh, sorry about the videoing, but I'm trying to keep myself in one spot and film at the same time. Done it, mate. Pocahontas. Pocahontas. At your service. <laughs> Later. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Jesus, fuck! <laughs> Fucking lunatic. Ramy speed. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 300. <laughs> Stout wooden ships. <laughs> Jesus, fuck.
<laughs> He's still making his way down. So we're nearly at our camping spot for the night, apparently. <laughs> what if he's fucking stacked it? There's a fair way behind. He was getting a few extra casts in above the rapids. You watch, I'll switch this movie off and then he'll come around the corner. All right, here comes the big fella. In canoeing terms, he's an Iowa class battleship. Deep draft, heavy, about to take on whatever river we're on. Don't even know what the name of it is. You should get down here, all right. Here he goes. The big fire. Hi mate. Oh, I'm sick of it. 